Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of, uh, well, it's not really an episode, but more of a tutorial today. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to install the Terraria mod loader, um, that you see me and Connor using in the, uh, in our modded Let's Play. So, basically, all you have to do is go to Google or whatever you use, internet or whatever, and, um, <clears throat> type in T mod loader oh my goodness sorry my computer's slow so right here it the title of it is like standalone 1.3 thing I'll put the I'll put the link in the description for you and um so when this loads, you'll see all this stuff here. So you want to scroll all the way down to download. So here is Windows, Mac, Linux. You download whatever you have. For me, I have Linux. So it'll take you to this media file thing or media fire thing. Honestly, this is the easiest tutorial ever. So, you click download. Like you do with the media fires. Wait for it to download. Almost done. Okay, so here you go. You're gonna open it when it's done and you see all this stuff here just gonna highlight it well this is for windows 7 if you have like windows 9 or i'm not even sure if that's there is such thing as windows 9 i'm not sure but windows 8 or whatever or 10 you probably have to use winzip to unpack the files or whatever for me since i have windows 7 still i'm just gonna cut all of these now here's the hardest part honestly and it's not that hard watch this all you have to do is you have to locate your terraria file in the steam folder so what you're gonna do is click start click computer go to your local disk drive or whatever wherever you store terraria you're gonna go to program files you're gonna scroll down till you find steam or uh... depending on if you downloaded it from the actual website you'll have to uh... you'll have to locate your file wherever you downloaded it so it'd probably just be in program files but if you have steam which a lot of people do it that way you go to program files steam steam apps common then here you can see all your games I'm gonna go to terraria then I'm gonna paste and when it when you paste it i'm not gonna do it because i don't want to mess anything up but when you paste it it'll ask you um do you want to copy or do you want to copy and replace Terraria? Say uh, copy and replace. So once you've done that, all you have to do is, if you want to, you can make a sh desktop or a desktop shortcut. Then you just run Terraria. Then when it opens up, oh yeah, I forgot to mention um, before I start up Terraria. Um, for me. It just starts up when I double click it, but for you, it'll say, um, it'll say, uh, do you want to open this file? That's just because it's not trusted because it's a new mod tutorial. Don't worry, it's nothing bad on it. It's just doesn't recognize the creator of it because it's modded. So, um, not sure why it's not starting. Once again, I have a slow computer, but, um, if you don't want that you just click there will be a little checkbox and it says don't ask for this file again so you're gonna just click that and then it, you'll never have to do that again and if you want the server to open up uh, here you can find that and um, it'll come with tmod T loader server and you can just uh, run that like a normal Terraria server I forget if you have to port forward or not but um, I'm not going to show you how to port forward if you really want to look it up. 
then go ahead. And here you go, Terraria started up. And apparently there's two. I done goofed. Please close that one. And here you go, when Terraria loads up, you'll see that it has a few new things, mod sources, mod browser, and mods. Uh, when you first get it, you won't have any mods installed. But the great thing is, the mods already come with the thing, so you don't even need to download them. This is basically like downloading the mods itself. So, I'm actually not sure what mod sources does. Um, I think it's for if you want to create your own mods or something. But, um, there's mods, which shows you a list of all your mods and allows you to enable and disable them. And here's the thing you want uh, you want to look at if you want to get mods. This is the mod browser. It shows every single mod currently in this uh, little mod thing, whatever you would call it. And um, it just shows every single mod that's in the game so far. There's not a lot so far, but it's still pretty good because a lot of them add a lot of new content and stuff. So here you can sort by... Um, up to date, all new, up to date. Then you can sort by alphabetically, uh, reverse alphabetically, downloads descending, downloads ascending, uh, by recently updated, and a bunch of other ones. So you just click download, like say I want to get this one, I'll just uh, delete it right after. So I want to get this. I go to mods. Then you'll see it right here. These are all my other mods that I'm using with Connors in my Let's Play. So um, I can tell you a big list of them at the end of the video. But um, if you don't want to do that, then or if you don't want to use them, I mean, a lot of them are pretty cool. But what you want to do is to enable the actual mod. You have to click to enable. Now that's not all. You see down here it says Reload Required. You're gonna have to click this little button right here. It's just uh, making sure that all the mods are good and stuff, and it checks everything. Some mods don't actually work because they're unstable and stuff, but it'll tell you. It'll be like, this mod has stopped working. Yeah, look. Okay, apparently that one was the one that didn't work. So, it has been detected that this mod was built for Tmod Loader 0.7. However, you're using... Yeah, so if it's outdated or something, then it'll tell you. And it says, um, this mod has automatically been dis dis disabled. So if that ever happens, you just click continue. It'll read all your mods that you want. And... Once it's done with that, you're ready to go. You just go to single player or multiplayer. Uh, keep in mind, you will not have any of your vanilla characters here. You have to create a new one. Um, so you can use, you can create a world. When you create a world, uh, you'll see that you have a bunch of modded stuff in it. Like, let's just go to this one. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I blew up. The big tree I blew up. And my game crashed. Keep in mind, your game does crash a lot, but, um,. I guess that's a good way to end off this episode. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. And uh, hope you enjoyed. And hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you want to ever download it. So um, thank you everybody for watching. And see you all next time. Goodbye.